Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Word 2016 tutorial, I'm going to go over how to insert bookmarks and cross-references into your Word documents. Let's get started. So this is a several page Word document with several different headings within it. Each heading is defined with a style right up here. As you can see, it's a heading one style for each one of these. As we move through, we can see each of the headings and subheadings are listed below. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert bookmarks so that you can easily find each of these headings, as well as how to insert a cross-reference. So if at any point you need uh, to jump to a different section of your Word document, you could do that easily. The first part we're going to start here is heading number 10, which is building maintenance. And I'm going to insert a bookmark here. Let's say that this area is somewhere that I always go to on my Word document, but I want to have a quick reference or a quick way to get there. The easiest way to do that is by inserting in a bookmark. The first thing I'm going to do is click right before the 10 right here, so I have a blinking cursor, because this is the point I want it to jump to whenever I uh, ask to go to building maintenance. And so I could go right here to the insert tab, and then I can go over here to the links group, and then you'll see this button here for bookmark. Bookmarks work with hyperlinks to let you jump to a specific place in your document. Here's how it works. Select the content you want to jump to, insert the bookmark, add a hyperlink that points to your bookmark. And here's how we go. We're going to go right here, click bookmark, and then right here is the bookmark name. It's very important to note that I clicked right before the point where I wanted the bookmark to be displayed. And now I'm going to type in building maintenance. And then I click add. And the it'll just kind of go away, but this little marker will be right here. If you don't see this marker on your uh, Microsoft Word, that's because your bookmarks are not currently being displayed. You could change this in your Word options, which I'll show you how to do right now. You go to the file tab, go to the options button down at the bottom on the left side. It'll open up the Word Options dialog box, and from the Word Options dialog box, you go to Advanced on the left side. After you click Advanced, you scroll down just a little bit, and it says Show Document Content. And then right here, there's a check mark for Show Bookmarks. And if you click that check box, it'll give you a vis visual indication of where your bookmarks are, like the one I have right here. And so I leave that checked. If yours is unchecked, you could check it if you want it to show up and then you click OK. Keep in mind having that checked or not checked will not uh, affect your ability to actually jump to that bookmark within your document. It just lets you know that it's there with that symbol. Alright, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to section 10.3 and I'm going to insert an, another bookmark. So I could highlight this area right here, which is my bulleted list, and then I'm going to call this limited common, uh, common areas. And so I'm going to go to the insert tab links group bookmark. I see that I already have my other bookmark here for building maintenance and I'm going to replace this text right here with limited common areas. And these are areas within my document that I jump to often. So I highlight that, I replace the words, I click add. Okay, you'll now see again the bookmark symbol is right there so I can see it. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to actually find the bookmarks on the page. Alright, so I'm going to jump up to the beginning of my document. I did that by holding control and pressing home. And so now I'm going to show you how to jump to any of your bookmarks that you have created. The way that we do that is we go to the home tab. And in the home tab, there's the editing group. Within the editing group, there's the find arrow, which is right next to the find button. And I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to go to go to. And it says, what's faster than scrolling? Jumping. Go to lets you jump right to a specific page, line, footnote, comment, or other place in your document. So if I click go to, it's going to open up the find and replace dialog box. And then I can choose bookmark from this left section. When I choose bookmark from here, I could easily choose any of the two bookmarks that I have listed. So I could click on building maintenance and click go to. And it's going to take me directly to building maintenance where we were before. I can click on the next drop down, limited common areas, and click go to and easily find the area that I'm interested in. Notice that this one is highlighted because it was highlighted when I added in the initial bookmark. So that's a quick way to jump to any point in your document. The next thing I'm going to show you here is how to uh, insert a cross reference onto your page. So I'm going to do that right up here on my document in section 4.2. As I scroll up to 4.2, I'm going to click right here. 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in C also, and then a space and a period. And then I'm going to press the left arrow to move me just to the left of that period. Now I'm going to insert a cross-reference to a different spot in the document. Now this could be really useful because if this is related to something else, like right here it says storage, no trailers, boats, vans, etc. If I have more information somewhere else about this, I could easily cross-reference it uh, by putting a link to the cross-reference right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross-reference it to section 6. So if I go to the Insert tab, the Links group, I could go right here to cross-reference. Again, where your cursor at is where the cross-reference will be applied. So I go to cross-reference. It opens this up. And now I see that I have a lot of options that I could choose from. If I wanted to cross-reference to another uh, bookmark, like you've seen, or like the ones we've created, I could easily do that by clicking bookmark and then choosing the bookmark. I could also go right here to heading, like I showed you before, and as long as my text is set up with headings, then I'll see all of my headings listed right here. I'm going to jump to section 6 right here, which is where I want my cross-reference to go to, which is parking. And then I click insert. And then I'll click close. And now you'll see right up here, it says see also, where I typed before, and then it says 6 parking. Now this is good because if I hover over this with my mouse, it'll say current document is where that hyperlink is listed, and then it says control click to follow link. So if I hold down control and I click on it, you'll see it jumps me right down to parking, so now I can get more information on the vehicles that can or cannot be parked in this area. So that is how you set up a cross-reference within your Word documents. So hopefully this video has taught you how to insert bookmarks, look for bookmarks, turn on bookmarks so that you can see them, as well as set up cross-references to different bookmarks and headings within your document. If this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to respond to you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.